I have a new enemy. My new enemy is the rain. Now, the rain is only my enemy when it comes out of nowhere and I've not been expecting it, and therefore I get rained on. I get that rain is necessary because without rain, we couldn't grow crops and then we wouldn't have any food, which would be terrible. So of course we need rain, but imagine if rain clouds grew underground, so we got all the benefits of rain without getting rained on. Hashtag just saying. Now, as you can clearly see, rain is not a problem today. It's very sunny here, and I thought I would take you, the cheap boppers, outside. And I have had an idea for a tag video, and this tag is called the Significant Places Tag. Now, this is a tag that is very special for one reason, and it's because it only has one question. And that question is, what are the five most significant places to you in the place that you live? Now, as you can probably tell from the big wheel behind me, I live in London, and I thought I would take you to some of the most significant places to me. Here we go. The first place I'd like to take you to is here. This is the Landor Theatre, and this was where I did my first ever performance in London. It's a pub theatre, a wonderful pub theatre, there's loads of new musical theatre. And when I was performing here, I was playing the part of Johnny Warner, the zombie. In that production, I looked like this. Unfortunately, that green makeup is very, very difficult to get off. So even when I took it off, I looked like this. Let's move on, shall we? This is Mount Pond and Clapham Common, and this is where I did the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. In November or December of 2009, I was walking around here and the pond was frozen over. And while I was walking around, I was on the phone. Now, because it was frozen over, I wanted to know how strong the ice was. And I decided to tap my foot on the ice. The answer to that question, unfortunately, was the ice is very weak indeed. My foot went straight through and I fell in the pond. As I fell in, I raised my hand, I had my phone in it up in the air, keep my phone out of the water. I then jumped out and continued the phone call because I was too embarrassed to tell the person that I'd fallen in the pond, so I just didn't tell them. And now they still don't know, and they'll never know, unless they watch this video. Now, as you can see from the sign behind me, we are at the Phoenix Theatre in London, and this was the first West End theatre I ever worked at. Now, this is now the home of the brand new musical Ben Delight Beckham, which is opening soon, but for many years, it was the home of the musical Blood Brothers, which I was a part of for two years. Now, I wasn't in the West End production, I was in the UK tour, but the productions were run by the same company, so we used all the same costumes, the same set, so we rehearsed for that production here. And this is very much the spiritual home of Blood Brothers, and because of that, this theatre holds a very special place in my heart. I am here at Roadhouse, which is a bar slash nightclub in central London. And this has great significance to this channel because this is the bar slash nightclub that I read my book in. The name I read books in nightclubs comes from me reading my book right here. And last, but by no means least, we are here at Battersea Park. Now, Battersea Park is only one of the many, many wonderful parks we have here in London, but I love this one in particular because there's so many little alleyways and paths off the beaten track where you can just hide under a tree and read your book. It's a really wonderful park. But the reason it has such significance to me is I used to live very near Battersea Park. And back then, 18 months ago, I was running a half marathon or training for a half marathon because I was raising money for a wonderful charity called Cardiac Risk for the Young, Cry For Short. I'll put their website in the link below because they're just, they're so awesome. So you must check those guys out and I did all my training for that half marathon here and because of that I remember this park fondly and also not so fondly because training for a half marathon is hard. Now that I've found somewhere a little bit more secluded to talk to you, I can tell you a little bit about the week I have ahead. I am doing a speech at my old secondary school and I am terrified. Now it may seem odd that an actor is nervous about standing up on stage and speaking, but as an actor, you hide behind a character. Whereas obviously, when I'm on stage in front of those pupils of my old school, I haven't got a character to hide behind, I just have to be me and that's quite a scary prospect. Now some of you watching this are still at school and from those people I'd like to know if I was coming to your school what would you want to hear me talk about and if you've left school I'd like to know what advice would you like to be given while you were of school age. As always put it all in the syllabub. Thank you so much to everyone who made names for my new dog, the new pet that I have, this one right here. I've got it down to three suggestions and I'm going to put it to a vote so I'll put the link to the vote in the box below and the three names I'd like you to choose between are Peter because Peter Pan in the last week's video had a lot to do with him Orwell because someone said I should name him after my favourite author and George Orwell is my favourite author and the third choice is Chibop because of course you are the Cheeboppers so I'll put the link in there make your vote and let me know what name you would like to call the dog this week's book recommendation is All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman. Now, my very first video, I recommended a book of his, The Tiny Wife, and this week I'm gonna recommend this one. This was the first book I read by him. This is Carrie Hope Fletcher's favorite book. It is absolutely wonderful, brilliantly written. You will really love it, so please give that book a read. 
because the book is called All My Friends Are Superheroes and because the Batman vs Superman trailer came out this week, and I love Batman and Superman, this week's cheap up is going to be the Superman theme. That's almost everything for this week. Thank you as always for tuning in. This week in the syllabub, I want to know what your book recommendations are. I want you to vote for your favorite dog name. Of course, I want to know what the silliest thing is you've ever done, considering I told you the silliest thing I've ever done. And of course, I would like to know what are the five most significant places to you in the place where you live. As always, put your comments, ramblings and musings in the syllabub. Now, of course, this is a tag video and because it's a tag video, I've got to tag some people to do it next. And I would like to tag Carrie Hope Fletcher from It's Way Past My Bedtime, Pete Bucknell from from Pete's Jams, Gary C from Ooh Gary C, and Giovanna from Giovanna's World. This week's silly question comes from Jazzy G971, and she asks, do bees fart? And if they do, do their farts smell like flowers? I'm pretty sure bees do fart, but because they've got a sting on the end, it's got nowhere to go. So all of that fart goes into the end, and I think that's what creates the venom. I'm pretty sure scientists would agree with my hypothesis there. Next week, indoors. I kind of imagined I was always going to be a Peter Pan type character. Do you know what? I am that. I am Peter Pan. I'm Peter Pan with a mortgage. Does that work?